Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. All right, all right. Welcome back to Currency 365. The road to number one continues. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, so we'll make it a 10 minute video because I'm doing some trades here on Mar Jackson. Winning, winning all my trades today. I, I, I'm, I'm literally winning 99.9% .9 of my trades. The problem with my trading, I think I've won all of my trades except for a few of them that I bailed out like right at the beginning because I thought it was a bad, I made a mistake basically. If it wasn't for an error, right? So I basically, I wanted to go short, but I clicked on buy on, on going long instead of going short. So at those types of errors, I got out immediately and I took the, uh, and I took the um the the commission fees right so whatever that was right the uh the the, the exchange trading fees whatever right so it might have been a dollar or whatever um you know dollar sixteen eighty cents whatever that's how I lost but me actually trading I don't think I've lost a trade yet uh, but uh, of course those do count as trading so I that that is a loss right but I but I've lost um on making a couple mistakes I made two mistakes. And I quickly got out of it. And I also have made mistakes because uh, I did market sells and market buys and market sells put you in bad positions. And I should know better than than doing that. But you know, I'm kind of, when you get when you start out, you you're really lazy and you don't want to set your own prices because you're just lazy. Um, and so that's one of the reasons why I I, I took some a lot. I, I actually gained. But because of the market buy and market sell, I actually lost overall, right? Because then when you include the fees, I'm actually like, I, I just won 20 bucks. And it's like, no, you didn't. You're actually down five bucks because you did a market sell and a market buy and, and you're out of position. And, and then plus the $11 fee or whatever it was on Ethereum, you know. So now I'm, now I'm trading XRP more. And today I'm trading Sol Solana. I've been trading Solana all day. The, fee on, the, the fees on Solana, though, were a dollar like a dollar or something now if you're shorting you might be only like 50 cents my last trade i just won on was 50 cents and i, I made a quick five bucks on there 550 and you take the fees out quick five bucks in one minute so i'm trying to get like five to ten bucks every minute or every second <laughs> you know what i mean so i'm doing like two or three four trades at a time trying to get trying to get a quick five ten fifteen twenty bucks here and there but uh solana is a good one but the problem with solana is that it's a dot the fees are in the dollars right now and and XRP, it, usually their fees are like uh, 20, 30 cents. So that's a big difference when you're talking about scalping 5 to $20 at a, a trade. That's a big difference having to pay that uh, $1. But that's Margex. Links in the description if you for those that want to do margin trading, um, maybe leverage trading. Okay. Um, so I do have one trade open now. I'm actually in a loft on it right now, so I'm just gonna let it wait. I'm gonna wait for it to to uh, to make its move to the upside. It's a longer trade. It's a longer hold. Uh, the other ones were really quick holds. This one's a longer hold to a to a for Solana to the upside. So we'll see how that plays out. But anyways, that's what it is. Uh, if I see if, if I look at it and I see I'm up like five bucks, I might get out. <laughs> you know? So and it's a longer hold. But if I'm up five bucks, you know I might might take the money and then run right so i can you know but i've been doing some trades and i'm having fun so anyways uh we're here for the uh burn it all validator and uh let's get started so uh roll to number one brad's at 811 followers let's get him to a thousand and uh also um you can you can meet brad at the uh, burn it all validator uh at, or he's the owner of the burn off Validator. you can meet him on the telegram group at burn tokens now it is a private group now so of course, unfortunately, you're gonna to have to pay a hundred dollars to get in. So if you, if you hit Brad up and say, hey, "I want to get in the group," you're gonna to have to give him a hundred bucks. Or if you hit me up, you gotta give me a hundred bucks. So unfortunately, but we had enough time. We have almost four months of people getting in the group, uh, or at least about four months, you know. Uh, and uh, for those people who got in, they got in. People who hasn't got in, you know, it's a hundred bucks, right? So, anyways, 
it is what it is. Okay, so our goals, our daily goals is 5,000 to 10,000, or our daily goal is 5,000 right now. We are over that 5,000 mark. Okay, I'm checking my trade here because if that thing is up five bucks, I'm gonna I'm gonna cash out and take a nice little three fifty four dollar profit, um, and then move on. But because uh, it's been red for for like twenty minutes now, so even though it's a longer term hold, but if I can see some money, if I can get if I can get a slight profit on that thing, I'm out. I'm out, and uh, I'm gonna probably put up three more trades. All right, so uh, we're at the five thousand to ten thousand milestone here, so. I still at that five thousand, and I've been saying we're gonna. I've been saying we're gonna we're gonna be here, and then we're gonna jump to these, and that's when people are gonna be blown away. People are gonna be shocked, right? But uh, we can do it this way as well. But I but I did say we were gonna go here, so I can't take it back. I did say that, right? We're gonna go. We're gonna be stuck here, and then we're gonna jump to the to here, and I I did say that. So right in here. So I did say that. So I can't take it back. And that's what I did say. But um, if we if we want to go up slowly, we can go up slowly. I'm going to be staking every day. And some of you guys are staking with me. And uh, it's all good. All right. That's my video. That's Shopify ad for some reason. And then I got the daily burn post from uh, Brad. He says, we are on a mission to send USDC to the burn wallet in order to assist the repay. If you would like to join us, just delegate your lunk into burn it all. And we will take care of the rest for you. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's that easy. It's that easy. I mean. A lot of you guys are, all of us, all of us are like, man, you know, like, it's a lot of people to take care of. People are suffering, struggling, and we know in the back of our minds, all people have to do is redelegate the burn off validator for, for the next 60 days, 90 days, and life changes for us, and people are, people are not trying to do it. It, it. it has to bother you. That it's that simple, but we're so far away, you know, because <laughs> people mind cannot, they, they can't do it for some reason. They won't do it. They'd rather suffer. And that's why the world is suffering. You know, people are suffering because they want to suffer. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> you know, it, people have become used to suffering and it's time to change. Right, it is time to change. No more suffering. All right, so come over to the burnout validator and stop suffering, and let's repay. Uh, five thousand six thirty-two is the burns today. All right, let's check like that. So we're still in that five to six thousand range. Uh, USDC burn uh, update for January first to the sixteenth. All right, so there's the burns. All those, all these coins are never coming back to USTC, and we, we're not, we, you can't mint any more USTC either. Man, this thing is down nine dollars now. I'm down nine dollars right now. Dang, man. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta be patient. So yesterday, yesterday I had to be paid. Yesterday I was down two. I, I did a, I did a hundred X on something at or fifty X on something. I think it was fifty X, fifty X on something yesterday. Um, and I was down $200, I think $280 at one point. And, and, and I was just like, let me just be patient. The market's going to come back down and I don't need to sell for a $286 loss. Right. And so I came, the market came all the way back down and I, and I didn't, I profited like, um, 20, like $19 or something. So you guys, sometimes you gotta be patient, but I know there's a liquidation price. So um, so you got to watch out for your liquidation price, but if you're not, if you're not, if you're not at that liquidation price, then just be patient. You know, the markets go up and the markets do come down. Right. So, so, um, so yeah, so I was, I was, I was down minus like 280 yesterday. And I was like, I'm just going to be patient. The markets are going to come back down. And we, we've been, we've been bullish for a literally a, a, a hour and a half straight. So I knew the markets were going to come back down at some point, right? You can't be not, you can't be bullish for that long. Right. And to not get exhausted. So the markets got really exhausted and then it came, it really came down. And, and then it was able I was actually able to make a profit. I was down to 80 and I was able to profit like 10, 15, 30 bucks, something like that. So so sometimes you just got to wait it out and know and know how you know how you're doing. But or you got to get out of there. I should have got I had plenty of chances to get out of there with a small five dollar loss. Just take the loss. Just take the small five dollar loss and don't even put yourself through that pain because I had to wait three hours just to get that money back. Right. So uh, or just to make that a little profit. So it was like at least three, four hours. So 
um, to wait for the markets to, to come back. So just take the five dollar loss and just move, keep it, and then just do another trade. Right. Uh, you're going against the grain then flip it the long right so if the if the, if the long if the short's not working flip it along and then make you a quick twenty dollars that one okay um but don't don't be afraid to take a, a quick two three four dollar loss uh so that you can come back and make a twenty dollar win right very quickly all right lung pen we already talked about that that's good all right uh, let's go here and uh let's check it out so the burns have been very low right so interesting that the burns on Lunk have been so low. I mean, this is historically low. We have never seen burns this low. I don't. I don't know what's going on. I'm thinking it's the V3. I. Don't, I think people are are stuck on this V3 and they they're not able to um go go into their wallet. I think a bunch of people are stuck without being able to access their wallets and they're not speaking out about it because look at this activity. Uh, and, and most of the activity runs through the station, right? Galaxy Station, but also uh, Station Dot Money. Galaxy Station is working fine. Station Dot Money is where most of the activity, eighty percent, seventy-five. Let's say seventy percent of the activities run through Gal uh, Station Dot Money, right? So if you if you didn't if you're not upgraded on B three, you don't know what to do. You're not doing anything right now, and that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a bunch of people not doing anything. So you either you either can't update your wallet, you're having problems with it, and there's nobody to talk to, and you're just keeping it to yourself, right? And so this is the problem because nobody's there's no activity happening right on chain. On chain activity has died, right? So and that's after the V3 that happened. All right, I'm down six bucks now, so I, I'm, I, you know, this, I'm, it's about to go green. It's about to go green, and I, I hope it goes green on the on the stream so I can so I can uh. You know, so I can cash out. You know what I mean? So I can cash out that quick five bucks here. But the um I do gotta pay a dollar fifty nine in uh in and uh in fees though and in, in uh sell fees, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um yeah, still down six bucks. So hopefully it turns around and I'm up, you know, five, ten bucks and here in the next uh three three to five minutes and then uh, you know, but I don't know if that's gonna happen now. Okay. I'll keep watching it. Uh, let's see here. 39,000 today, which is still really low, really low, really. I mean, what happened to us, man? And I, I really do believe it's that V3 update. That V3 update, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are not able to, if you can't access your wallet on V3 and something's wrong, you need to be hitting me up on Patreon, hitting me up on, uh, on Twitter or hitting me up inside the Telegram group. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, you can't hit me up on here, but you can hit me up on Twitter, uh, uh, Patreon, or the Telegram group, all right? So I think a bunch of people came back from vacation, <laughs> came back for the New Year's. They did this V3 stuff, and they can't access their wallets. Uh, the the, the uh, C phrase ain't working, or they, they forgot their C phrase. Well, if you forgot your C phrase, then just put your password in there, right? And so I, I don't, you know, I don't know. Uh, something's not right, you know. What I mean, uh, the volume is way off on on, on chain, and, I, and it's after and it all started after the um, the uh, the V three update. All right, I'm only down four bucks right now, so I, it could go green here. And if it goes green, uh, I'm cashing out. You know, I'm down five right now. I'm down four or five bucks. It keeps flipping from four to five bucks. So if it, if it can go green right now, man, I'm gonna cash out. Cash three dollars out, four or five dollars out, whatever it is. Let's see. I'm down five bucks still. So let's go through this and then we'll check out what it is at the end. If I'm still down, I'm not gonna cat I'm not gonna do anything, of course, until it goes green. Okay. Um let's see here. Uh and some of you guys were talking about um some of you guys were talking about currency. Uh um we should use the money in the community pool to do something, you know, uh, stake with maybe a stake with Cosmos or something, ATOM, and then you and then take the rewards and 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 buy it and buy back and burn USTC with it or something. The problem is that is that people are gonna look the validators are don't like doing stuff like that. They look at it as childish behavior, 
right? Like mindless behavior that that, that group. I forgot what they. That, I forgot they song that used to, that little group, the little boys, right? Uh, I, 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 I used to. I, I when I when I saw them little boys, I was like, oh my god, they in Hollywood. I don't know what they these these predators are doing to these little boys, right? So I was, and I was trying to pray for these little boys, right? Um, but uh, I remember that group, mindless behavior. That was funny because of what well, because of one hundred six in part on BET. That was funny, <laughs> but um. But yeah, they, they they think it's childish behavior um, to take money from reserves and then just spend it on things like that. But I think I think I think if you told me that we were going to take the reserves, we we're going to put it in Cosmos ATOM at at fourteen percent or whatever, uh, or one of the other tokens that you can stake at, that that are giving you twenty percent, and we're going to take those rewards and we're going to use it to buy back and burn USTC on a daily basis every 24 hours it goes back to buy back then i wouldn't i mean i would be okay with it i would I, I wouldn't mind you know what i mean it's another way to burn ustc right um and the, and it's not like it's the end of the world because every day we're growing the community pool so we could just grow back the community pool again while we're burning while we're taking while we're burning ustc with the community pool funds right so so you're building back up the community pool and you got the community pool funds uh, staked and 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 then the staking rewards you're using to 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 swap for for USTC and and then um and uh, so I, I guess one of the 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 dev members will be doing that or TF somebody would be doing have access to that to to swap over and then buy up USTC and then burn it but I, the the validators would never go for that and also the community will probably say it's just too risky. You know, what I mean, too risky because some the person that's doing it gets to say, well, you know, I need this money. I'm out. Right. And they can just take they could grab it, take the money and then run out and be a rug. It, would, it wouldn't be a rug pull, but it'll be a community hack. Right. So. um, All right. And even if they know we know their names or something, people don't care when people get desperate. They're, they don't care about their name, their image, their likeness, their their their, their history. They, they they need money to feed their they're they're gonna they're gonna pull they will just pull it and then they'll disappear and everybody will say, Oh my god, blah 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 blah, this did this to us, right? And you'll never see them again, right? And so they they, they don't care. So people when people are hungry they, they do not care about their, their their history and what they're gonna be named or what the names are gonna be told about them and the stories are gonna be written about them. So they, they do not care. <laughs> so it, it it would be kind of risky. Uh, risky. I'm down two dollars. So I'm I'm trying to see if this thing can go green before I can before I turn this video off. I'm trying to bear, I'm trying to waste some time here. <laughs> so it's it's almost going. It's almost green again. So I'm, if I can get up to five bucks, I'll, I'll cash out right here. And so, um, okay. So voting power. Is um is three billion sixty five okay, so and then we had a redelegation an hour ago okay I I I probably think that this person watched either my prayer video or Dorsey's video and they they said I'm out <laughs> so it happens all the time and either my prayer video or the Dorsey videos uh people get triggered by these things and. And it's kind of interesting because the same people wouldn't be triggered by uh, Islamic person praying. They wouldn't be triggered by a Jewish person praying. They wouldn't be triggered by a um, a Buddhist. But for some reason, when when you're when when you're uh, in Christ, they they, they they get triggered for some strange reason. Anyways, it is what this. Uh, we're not gonna stop. We, we're gonna do what we do. We we are kingdom people, and they all everybody knows that before they even join uh, what we're doing, right? Brad is a, Brad is a kingdom person, right? And so everybody knows that. So when you join and you don't like prayers or you don't like teachings of Christ, you're in the wrong place, then, right? Because you already know that we are kingdom people. I do. We we, we I have thousands of videos. You know what I mean? We're kingdom people. You already know that. So it's kind of weird, right? Um, all right, so we gotta we let's just focus on the ones that are green. So fifty thousand came in. I haven't done it. I haven't delegated yet. So one million came in. One million there. Forty thousand, six thousand, three hundred thousand. All right, so that's it. I I still haven't delegated for the day. I'm going to delegate uh, today. I'm probably going to take some of my rewards here for Marjex and and delegate some of that, right? So I've tripled. I've almost quadrupled my. I think by the end of today. I'm gonna quadruple my rewards. I'm almost there. I'm almost. I I put one Litecoin in, 
I'm my balance is almost four Litecoins right now. It's probably going to be four. If I get a five dollar on this thing, five six dollars on the thing, it's probably going to be four Litecoins. So I'm going to take some of that. Maybe take three Litecoins out and then um and then stake with the burnout validator, right? So maybe maybe I'll do one million today, one million tomorrow, or something like that. But yeah, it's time to withdraw a little bit of money because I've already I've almost quadrupled my money. Uh, in what how long i've been doing this for four days now i think it is three days. i don't i don't even trade much i i literally i probably traded about uh five hours five hours in the last four days five hours and i've tripled my i've quadrupled my money already so yeah um down four bucks so we're not going to be able to cash out yet so the and, so let me end the video because i'm not going to be able to cash out on, on screen so it is what it is i'm still down four bucks here I'm not, I'm not, I'm down three bucks. I'm back down four bucks. Okay. So I'm just going to watch it. Uh, and then once it goes green, like five bucks, I'll get out. Of the, I'll get out of the trade. Um, I don't want, I don't want it to go on any longer than it is. It's the longest trade I've done all day. The other ones were like literally like 30 seconds each. <laughs> it was like five bucks, 10 bucks, 15, 10 bucks, 10 bucks. 10. It was all like 30 seconds. You know, this one has been almost a freaking hour. <laughs> so and just for, you know, so anyways, it is what it is. Peace out. God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video.